Hey guys, I was just on YouTube and uh, seen a video from a YouTube channel called Turn Them Wheels. He uh, just uh, shown that the D8BT has topology, uh, the official update. So if you've seen any of my videos, you know that uh, I've had the topology uh, unofficial version for about two weeks now. And when I turn my uh, D8BT on, it had a, up, a new update for the app, so we're going to go into settings here, we're going to go to about, and if you see at the very top, it shows the app version, and it's currently 4.34.1 underscore 7.82, and you see a little red dot right there, well that means that there's a new app update, so we're, I'm going to hit the little arrow to the right, and you've got the the uh, little pop-up right here that says update. Of course, all it says is fix known problems and optimize user experience. Doesn't tell you anything else about any of the fixes in here. So we're gonna go ahead and hit update and we're gonna install that. And then uh, we'll go over and I'll just, I'm not gonna hook it to a car, I don't think right now. You've already seen the uh, topology. And, uh, but I will go over into the demo section and uh, just see, you know, the what, what topology uh, demo has. So we'll let this install. Shouldn't take but just a couple couple seconds more. We'll open the uh, app. And if you haven't been over to uh, Turn Them Wheels, you need to go over there. And I'll put the link to his uh, channel down below. He, he's got some pretty cool videos on his channel. And go over there and, and uh, you know, visit him. And these are just typical updates. I'm not even going to worry about them right now. We'll go in here to diagnosis. Uh, we'll hit demo. <clears throat> Automatic detection. And this is just a demo. This is a fake car right there. That's not, you know, it's not actually connected to this car. We'll hit yes. Hit automatic diagnosis. <clears throat> and there's the topology as we would expect. And if you're not familiar with the way the topology works, you know, you've got your uh, OBD2 uh, connector right there. Now, in this particular vehicle, you've got a Z. Uh, I need some better glasses. Hold on just a second. Let me find my other glasses. You've got the ZGW. Now, if you're not, if you don't know what one of these acronyms are, you can tap that box and it'll tell you what it is. So, in this case, it's saying it's the uh, central gateway module. And then, of course, you go up, you got your can, uh, your K-CAN 2, uh, PT-CAN, so forth, and then it's got the different modules that's, uh, uh, you know, coming off of those particular uh, segments of the uh, network. And like I say, if you're not familiar with uh, one of these, you know, like the EGS, just tap it, Transmission Control Module. Uh, you've got your plus and minus over here to where, depending on some of these cars have so many modules that they will actually run off of the the page and you can actually you know zoom in and out depending on how many modules it detects and even if you're zoomed in you can use your finger and you can just move it around so nice feature to be able to do that then you got your legend up in the upper left corner anything that's white not scanned green is normal orange is malfunction uh <clears throat> Gray is no response, and normally when you got a gray one, that means that uh, that module is more than likely not on the car. Uh, if it is and it's gray, then that means it's not been able to connect to it. It can't communicate to it. And then you got the purple, which is multi-system. Uh, up at the top right, you know, number of DTCs, it's showing two. And if you see the orange right there on the uh, Junction box electronics module. We've got two DTCs in there. We'll click that here in just a minute to check those out. Uh, and then at, uh, at the uh, upper right, you also have the uh, 25 of 25 modules. And if you wanted to go into one of these modules, now before I do that, if you go over here to list, it's got your typical list like it has always had. Uh, but if you go back to topology and you want to look at, say, the DT DTCs on the uh, junction box electronics, you just hit diagnose and it'll go right there to that module. You can now read the trouble codes, 
uh, which is kind of funny because it said it had trouble codes, but now whenever you're here to read it, uh, it's saying no trouble code. Now, remember, this is just the demo of what's built into the scan tool. Um, but anyway, it looks like the D8BT now has the official update with topology. And it should still have the, uh, in fact, let's take a look at that. Let's, uh, one of the other things they fixed was the, uh, which one of these are the engine control module? Let's just go into this. I, I just want to look at a graph. I don't know if the demo will allow us to do that, but okay. Yeah, it, it's going to, um, the unofficial version they had fixed the graphing and i've got a video showing that um and i was wanting to see if this demo actually showed the fixed graphing ability now let's just click we'll just click that real, real quick Now the demo does not appear to have had, had any change to the graphing, but hopefully uh, when you're actually connected to the car, you'll have the uh, new and improved graphing ability. And specifically, the old graphing didn't drop under 12 volts. So if you're looking at O2 sensors, which are typically under one volt, it was at the very bottom of that scale and you couldn't really see a whole lot of movement whenever it was going from about 0 0.1 to 0 0.9 volts, uh, you know, you, you didn't see it a whole lot. Uh, you didn't see it very detailed. Uh, and, but then they, they fixed that with the unofficial version that they sent me. And I have had good luck with that unofficial version, both in, on the topology and the uh, graphing. I never had a problem with anything I connected it to. So hopefully this official version, they've fixed the graphing and I'll, I don't have time today to get into it, but uh, I will definitely uh, let you guys know if if it's not fixed. I'll definitely do a video and let you know that. But anyway, this video is long enough, so uh, I'm going to go ahead and update these three right here. And if you guys have a BT and you've been waiting for the topology, you need to uh, check your updates and uh, install the latest, latest one. And like I say, the uh, version is now... 4.35.1 underscore 7.82. So there you have it. It's official. The topologies here on the D8BT, and uh, everybody's now happy. So thank you, Xtool, and uh, thank you, subscribers and viewers. Uh, I appreciate every one of you. You guys take care.